Hey, guess what? Hmm? My dry ice arrived. Your what? Yeah, my dry ice. Why did you get dry ice? I want to check out those dry ice explosives that I keep seeing online. Care to join? That sounds like a terrible idea. Let's do it. Nice. We're invited to my friend's birthday party at 6 p.m. next Saturday. Do you want to go? Um, maybe not. No, come on. It'll be fun. Well, I was thinking that instead of going out, you could come over and help me set up my new house. What? You said I wasn't allowed to enter your new house until you'd finished arranging everything. Well, I changed my mind. Can I bring my label maker? Please, I already have a label maker. Ah, yes. But is yours a Swinton? Of course. What do you think I am, a peasant? Okay. Well then, can I at least bring my tape measurer? I already have everything that you could possibly need. I'll bring my knife sharpener so I can sharpen all your scissors. No. Last time you did that, you ruined my fabric scissors. Oh, I'll bring my gardening tools and get to work on your hedges. Oh, this is a dream. Okay, that's enough. I've changed my mind. Let's go to the party. Nope, too late. I'm already emailing my team as we speak. <gasps> we'll finally get to practice house arranging plan number 12. I hope you don't mind, but I brought this to take notes about you as we talk. Is that cool with you? So cool that I've done the same thing. What are the other notebooks for? Oh, I always bring spares just in case strangers need conversations too. Ah, oh, interesting. Do you think the fact that you carry so many is because you have difficulty committing? Oh, nice question. This is going to be a great date. Unpacked is fun packed. So we could get Thai or Mexican or Spanish. Um, or Japanese, maybe. You like Japanese, right? Oh. Yes, I do. Oh, what about French? Actually, yeah, let's do something fancy. Do you want to do something fancy? Um, well... Actually, nah, I changed my mind. It's too much trouble. So Mexican? How about Maccas? Nah. Yeah, nah. How about pizza? We could just order pizza. Jenny told us the name of that place that I've forgotten. I'll look it up now. Oh, what about fish and chips? Oh, could we go down to the beach, maybe? Oh, yeah. Hey, we could play beach volleyball or surf or swim. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to surf or swim. I don't really want to get in the water. I just kind of want to look at tiny crabs. Yeah, nice. We can totally do that. Hey, what about we take a whole bunch of crucifixes to the haunted house down on Waverley Street and see if we can extract information from the ghosts? What? I'm just kidding. Oh, phew. I've already done that. They told me nothing. Oh. Hey! Hey, are you still here? Yeah, I was just talking to the cat. I don't know where she went though. Gosh, I thought you would have gone home hours ago. No, nah, still here. You having a good time? Oh my goodness, absolutely. This is the most fantastic party I've ever been to. There's a silent disco. Where has that been all my life? Not to mention, I met a guy who's in the actual circus. I asked him if he's having auditions, he said no. That was probably for the best because I don't have any circus tricks. <laughs> what about you? What have you been doing on the floor? Just talking to Chloe, really. Is that the cat? Yeah. And watching everyone, of course. Watching Jill follow Ashley around with a spray and wipe is hilarious. Great. Well, are you having a good time? Yeah, of course. I'm having a great time. Drinks are good. Pizza was good. Chloe was just a phenomenal company, of course. Don't know where she's got to. Kind of miss her. So you don't feel like I abandoned you three seconds after we arrived? <laughs> no. Why would I think that? You have no idea how much that means to me. So, would you like to check in on the forward plan? Sure, if that works for you. I'm at your disposal for three and a half minutes. Perfect. Well, I was thinking we'd invest largely in property, but diversify into some blue chip stocks and sweep all of the dividends into a joint superannuation fund at the end of each financial year. No, I meant our forward plan for our dates over the next few months, not whatever that was. Oh, I see. That was just my contingency plan in case we stay together in the long term. So let's see, we're booked in till next April at this stage. Then we go into pencil territory. So we've got dinner on the 12th and that potential Korean film festival for the 20th, but we haven't got anything in May yet. Thoughts? Contingency plan for the long term? You really know how to speak my language, don't you? I got tingles when I said it, but unfortunately I do have to go. Fair enough. It was lovely meeting you. I'll be in touch. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Bye. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I've gone ahead and made a spreadsheet for our trip with the gang. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Yes, of course. Are you sure? Well, it's just that I, 
I'd done a chart for it, that's all. A chart? Yeah. This. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> You've put so much work into that. See, I even put in meal choices because I remember you said you wanted to do that next time. Oh, wow, that's so sweet of you. Um, why don't we just use the spreadsheet though? That way we can both have a copy, it just makes things easier. Oh, but I made one for you too. Oh, delightful. <laughs> And so I find that I tend to over explain, over explaining. What were we talking about? I honestly have no idea. We went on so many tangents. Yeah, but I feel like that's a natural thing to do. Sure, as natural as snakes do in handstands. Snakes can do handstands? They could probably do neck stands. Oh wait, they don't have any bones. I mean, surely they have vertebrae or something. That's how they can have the S shape when they sliver. Sliver? Sliver. True. Or maybe they're like jelly, although they can't stand upright, can they? Oh, hang on, but don't they like use the rest of their body to support while their front half is like stood up? Yeah, or they kind of throw their body into a lunge. Oh my gosh, imagine snakes doing gymnastics. <gasps> imagine them in little leotards. I don't know how that would work because they don't have arms or legs, but I could make it work somehow. Maybe like Velcro. Oh my gosh, tutus. Imagine cute little snakes in tiny little tutus. So cute. Sparkly ones. Wait, can they do the splits if they don't have legs? Surely it's just lying on the floor. But then that's just them existing and there's nothing special about it. <gasps> Surely their jaw does the splits when they bite. Imagine seeing a snake doing a full on log roll instead of like a sliver, like rolling at full speed towards you. Oh my gosh, that's scary. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you might be onto something. This sounds like a kid's TV show. <gasps> they could call it gymnastics or gymnastics. That's incredible. Wait, would it be gym snakes or gymnastics? The ladder sounds better. Speaking of ladder, snakes and ladders is a fun game. Oh, I'm going to reserve that domain name. Do you think we should have snacks for the snakes on hand? Snake snacks? Snake yuck. What? The domain name gymnastics is already taken. What? By who? By me. Why? I'll give it to you for a hundred bucks. No. Okay.